9 TCM Shop. Hello, I'm Jackie Weaver, your guide for this month's TCM Friday Night Spotlight, devoted to the Australian cinema of the 1970s and 80s. Before Hugh Jackman, Heath Ledger, Chris Hemsworth or Eric Banner, there was an Australian actor who became one of the biggest heartthrobs and box office sensations this side of the Coral Sea. That man is Mel Gibson, and we next have him in a movie from 1979 called Tim, which we've never shown on TCM before. Though Mel was born in the United States, in New York State to be exact, Mel moved to Australia at the age of 12 and he spent his teenage and college years in Sydney. While studying at the University of New South Wales, Mel got the acting bug and began performing in plays at the National Institute of Dramatic Art a place which has produced some of Australia's finest filmmakers. Geoffrey Rush, Kate Blanchett, Judy Davis, Baz Luhrmann and Catherine Martin among them. Mel's feature film debut came in 1977 with the thriller Summer City, but it was two years later that the post-apocalyptic thriller Mad Max and our movie Tim cemented Mel's star status in Australia and led to worldwide fame. Tim is a romantic drama based on the first novel by Australian writer Colin McCulloch, best known today for writing The Thornbirds. The story in our film focuses on the unexpected relationship between an unmarried woman in her mid-forties, played by the wonderful Piper Laurie, and her much younger, mentally challenged gardener, played by Mel Gibson. Critics lauded Mel's performance as one of the best of the year and set in motion a career which has spanned more than 30 years and more than 30 films. From 1979, the only film directed by actor Michael Pate, and with supporting performances from Alwyn Kurtz, Pat Everson and Deborah Kennedy, here's the TCM premiere of Tim. <laughs> 